I'm serious. I'm gonna put it out there. I have a little bit of a crush. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Doing shots here with Diego Luna. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Great Salud. to have you here. This a is a first at Young Hollywood. I've never actually drank an alcoholic beverage in an interview, and I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but I'm willing to go there. You, you this was really not my idea. This that. was your idea. <laughs> okay, so wait a second. Like... You were just at the White House. I was drunk, too. <laughs> <laughs> was really? There. Did you meet Barack Obama, President yeah. Obama? You did, and Michelle? Not Michelle. Michelle was. Uh, uh, he said he uh, she was flying to China. He was keeping her away. No, no, no. They were <laughs> going to China uh, for something, uh, and uh, so he was there alone. Oh, did That's you fine. stand at the podium where they do the speeches? So it was on the press room, you know, where where they actually do those speeches, where, where he, he comes out. Every yeah, every really? speech you've seen with that podium. Was the podium the, there? Did you yeah, stand no, up? I, I did you stand up? You did you I, really I do had pictures? To the film. No, I'm, I'm oh, you stood like, there to introduce the film? <laughs> what do you mean? Selfie! Do the whole selfie it, thing! It, 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 I would! It was in Disneyland, you know? It was, was like the working. best photo off of all time. Uh, I, I no, was, but you were presenting the film. You were presenting, exactly. presenting I, Chavez. I was presenting Chavez and... Uh, well, he introduced the film with beautiful words and said a lot about how much he inspired... Uh, he was inspired by Cesar and how much... Uh, how important it was to to put the film out and let young audiences know who Cesar Chavez was and 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 that this is part of American history and it was very very moving and touching. And he's talking then, about your film that you directed. I mean, yeah, what kind no, of feeling he, does he that give you? He, he yeah. said thank you so much, Diego and the cast and crew for bringing this film, uh, for putting this film together, and uh, it was. I was very emotional. I cried many times. Did that you? Day. It's just that uh, I've been dreaming about this moment for s quite a long Me time. Me too. You know? Oh, come on. No, I'm serious. I'm going to put it out there. I have a little bit of a crush. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. With the boycott, there are no laws to stop us. This is the moment, Caesar. I think you said that you haven't, you didn't actually know a whole lot about his story. No. Growing up, so why why did you take this one on as a director? Because I was uh, I was here in the states looking for a story that had a connection with the place I came from, uh, but also that was that made made sense to tell in this country, you know. And this is a, a, a quite a unique one that can actually have an impact in both sides of the border and. Uh, and I was shocked that no one celebrated the life of Cesar I was surprised Charles. that it actually hadn't been, his story it's, hadn't been told before. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. I mean, but the, that, that, that happens with every story about the Latino community. When you think about a hero, and especially in American films, you think superhero, you think mm -hmm. he was, I mean, the true story is he was a hero, but the way he played it, and I think what I understand about the actual man, is that he had, he could be in a room and almost be invisible. He didn't have to be the biggest person in the room. He didn't have to have that sort of hero, superhero presence. Yeah. Well, in fact, it's it's quite a unique leader because he he doesn't have what the the the, the typical one has or the cliche of the leader that grabs a microphone and it's a great gives great speeches and uh, that that kind of that Martin Luther King quality. He didn't have that, uh, but he was he was a great organizer. And what he was good at it was uh, at doing house meetings and, and 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 planning and putting a strategy together. You know, the the whole way they created this boycott and they connected to consumers and they attacked the system uh, with a non-violent movement. You know, it was it was pretty cool for their time. Also, no one was doing. I mean, no other movement was doing what they did. You know, it's the biggest, the the biggest non-violent movement in this country. Even pilgrims ain't allowed in the street without a permit. Well, fine, you will use a sidewalk. It's open to the public. So I want to talk about you as a director directing this film. You've worked with Spielberg, Alfonso. Am I saying this right? Quaron. Uh -huh. But working with these directors as an actor, and then you and then you flip and you go over to being. What have you? What have you sort of like working with a Spielberg or something like that? Do you take something from each of them and the, the experience? And I don't think anything can be original. You know, you're always influenced by those you meet in the in the in your journey and those films you've watched and you love. Uh, I can say that w what is very clear is what you don't want to become. You know, or what you would never do. 
you know that's easy to say oh, like, this director I'm, yeah. I'm never never doing what what or I'm never working like he does you know actors just get to come in a little time of the process you know and and you expect that from actors you expect that they are just concentrated in what they are there to do which is play the role and see everything from that perspective but there's a bigger picture you know so many times the whole thing the whole thing is falling apart and uh, and actors don't get to experience that so when they come in they just act as if everything was fine and everything was perfect and you are you haven't slept in three right. weeks and you're you're you a know, mess and you have so many pieces out of the puzzle and an actor comes and says ah oh, you know what i don't know if we should do this and you go like <laughs> what